dudes, dudettes, you got the dude man with you right now and I got some very good news for those of you who are looking for a quality, inexpensive, short scale base. And right here in my hands I have a Sire U5 Marcus Miller short scale base. These bases are awesome. I've gone in and out of this thing and there's only one thing I don't like about it. Let's give this thing a little quick test drive. This is going to be a very short video. It sounds great, okay? Crazy. It sounds like it's got active pickups, but it doesn't. It's a passive. This thing sounds great. I'm going to tell you all about it right now. Real quick, we're going to tear it down. If this thing is only $4.99 brand new so what I did I said at that price I'm gonna call Sweetwater and order one but I wanted it in tobacco sunburst that's my favorite finish and uh, they were they didn't have any so um, I said well let me see what I can find on eBay and I got this one for quite a bit yes. cheaper well it's a great base it was it's in you know like brand new condition just about um, we're gonna, yeah, I was gonna tell you. Okay, $4.99, brand new. Maple veneer over alder body. I believe this is called a flamed, uh, or a 5A quilted flame top. I might be wrong on that, but you know, I didn't get into all the details uh, specifically from their website, but it's 20 frets. It's got a satin finish on the back. This is one of my favorite things with any base. This is a satin finish. It's so smooth and fast. And this neck is great. It's a very fast feeling neck. Fits my hands beautifully, by the way. And uh, this is a maple neck. And maple necks, you're gonna get a really nice tone out of this thing. Uh, it's a little less forgiving, like if you're a hard player, but... doesn't matter if you're doing fingers or let's say slapping great okay so the pick sounds great with a pick doesn't matter pick finger slap it's an awesome sounding bass let's get back to the specifics because another thing that I'm going to tell you about <clears throat> regarding the neck is if you look at the edge of this neck, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the edge is rounded, which makes it very comfortable to play when your hand is ready. And the other thing is the frets are even rounded with the neck. This is very unusual uh, at this price range to have features like this, but um, <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't think I've ever even played a bass with a rounded edge and rounded frets. And it's just so much more comfortable. My God, uh, this is awesome. This is all good news. Uh, I think I'll be uh, full scale strings will work. So while we're on the topic of strings, here's the thing. Right now, this is strong for uh, just uh, straight through the bridge there. But if you notice, under the saddles, there's holes and they come out back here. So I imagine that's how you get away with using full length string 
strings. Maybe you could do it the other way uh, as well, uh, string it from here up there and without having a problem. But to my understanding, when you uh, string the strings through these holes, through the body, I think you get more sustain or something like that. I believe that's the case. So, uh, PJ Sire, silent pickups and they're passive, as I said. So, let's look at the pickups. You got uh, precision style for the neck pickup, jazz style for the bridge pickup. Here are the controls right here, right? This first one is that volume. The second one is the jazz volume. The third one is uh, the tone. Now, with that being said, the first thing I'm gonna say is the tone knob on um, passive uh, basses, uh, it doesn't have nearly as much range as an active. That's why I usually prefer active, especially if I'm going to use a bass um, just for regular standard uh, bass guitar as opposed to this, which I'm going to use as a piccolo bass. But so it's near the bottom of the. the range which which I'm talking about the, the bass range so um, typically with the passive pickups I tend to use them all the way to the treble side so all the way clockwise <laughs> then with this I mean I got both pickups all the way up and this is like very very active sounding but you got to have the the uh, treble pot all the way to the treble side. Now with this one, it even goes a little bit beyond what I would typically use. So I'm gonna cut it back just a little. So it sounds great, that's it. Um, okay, so <clears throat> you got the, the volume. Let's try just the um, just the jazz pickup, and we'll leave the tone knob all the way up. Because it's in the bridge position, it's a very trebly sound, but um, but it's a nice sound. So now we're going to shut that off and turn the um, uh, precision uh, neck pickup all the way. I could I could get away with just that sound because I love precisions. I played precision bass for many years and I love that. I love that big fat bottom sound, you know. And even when I go up to the higher strings, it's still holding a good amount of bottom end, which I really love. Now, typically my sound is both pickups up all the way. Here we go. It's just not knobs. These are metal knobs. Typically, you're buying a, a base in this price range. They're going to be plastic. You know, they'll probably last forever. Who knows? But they're still plastic. You want metal knobs, man. These are metal knobs. They'll last forever, no doubt, no matter how much you bang it around. Okay, so uh, next, uh, let's see. Bridge. Oh, the bridge is similar to a Fender, a standard Fender. Yeah, very similar bridge. So, no problem there. I have no problem with that. And then uh, the, the tuners. Oh, okay. Uh, the tuners are just like um, standard Fender tuners. They almost look like they stole them from Fender, but um, they're very close to Fender tuners. These work great. They don't look like they're really heavyweight. But that's good because you don't want a lot of neck dive going on, so it's good. Um, 
Yeah, they, they tune up fine, no problems oh, okay. there. I'm going to tell you the one thing that I don't like about this bass. Now, typically, uh, my playing, I'm all over the place, I'm all over the neck, but a lot of times I like to go up high on the neck. Those are major triads, right? And I'm, I'm on a D, now I'm coming up to the E. I can barely get my... I gotta make an adjustment, a slow adjustment, to just to get uh, my fingers to, to reach that. Now I could do a E minor chord easy, and my, my hand is fitting in there. But when I go to that major triad, you could hear the strings buzzing a little bit because I, I didn't have it right. So the one thing that I don't like is this neck, uh, uh, the body cutout rather, near the neck should have been a little deeper just a little deeper and we could have got all the way up on that i'm close but no cigar baby no cigar that's it i mean if that's the only problem with this instrument come on this is a beautiful axe i mean look at the woodwork on the back beautiful it's beautiful wood it's like a deep red on the back you got a, a control cavity compartment right here standard floor bolt neck and it's just a beautiful, beautiful finish on here. I mean, look at that. Take a close look at that. How can you beat that? Look at the gloss. There we go. Look at that. Man, that's nice. Okay? You can see all that beautiful flamed finish. So, that's it. Um, I'm going to tell you the uh, <clears throat> Sire. I've heard about Sire bases. This is the first one I got my hands on. I heard they were very good quality basses for the money. Absolutely 100% correct on that. And um, this one is kind of fun to play just because it's short scale. It's a little easier to move around. And like I said, I'm going to be using this as a piccolo. So I'm going to get back to you when I do that video and you can hear how it sounds as a piccolo. I'll throw some overdrive on it and we'll have some fun. And um, that's, that's about it, but it's a great deal. Sire, U5, Marcus Miller, short scale bass. But uh, Marcus Miller had his hand in on this as, as he did with a lot of his uh, Sire basses, and they make excellent, excellent instruments. Check it out. Uh, please give me the YouTube Thumbs up if you liked the video. Thumbs up. See that? It looks just like that. Just click that thing down below. Look down there. And then also hit subscribe if you don't mind. That helps me, motivates me to put out some uh, more helpful videos for all you guys. All right? Thanks a lot. Appreciate you listening. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. I got a lot more time more recently to do more videos for you. I got a bunch of them lined up. Some really good stuff regarding instruments, amps, and um, recording techniques. That's going to be a good one. So check it out. All right, dude, man, checking out with you. See ya.